All right, so let's see if you can figure out how to solve this pretty simple practical math word problem. Now, this particular problem has something to do with the cube, and just in case you don't know what a cube is, it's basically this shape. But uh, let me go ahead and read this problem. It is as follows. After making a two-foot cube from a four by eight sheet of plywood, how much wood is left? Now we do have a multiple choice question here and let's take a look at our answers. So A is two square feet, B is four square feet, C is eight square feet, and D is 10 square feet. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need detailed, comprehensive instruction in mathematics, well then you gotta check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we are talking about a cube here. So this is a cube, and the problem is after making a two foot uh, by two foot cube, so or two foot cube. So a cube, by the way, is basically uh, the side of a cube is a square. So that's a bit of a hint. Hopefully you already knew that. But to anyways, after making this two foot cube from a four by eight sheet of plywood, how much wood is left? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is C, eight square feet. Now, if you got that right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because indeed you appear to be a certified professional expert in surface area. And that's basically what this problem is about. You gotta calculate the area or surface area of the sheet of plywood. And of course, we gotta calculate the surface area of this cube because we gotta get the material from this uh, sheet of plywood to make this cube, but we're not gonna use all the material. We will have some material left. Matter of fact, we're going to have eight square feet of plywood left. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And uh, here again uh, is a situation and we're dealing with a cube. Now a cube has this shape right here, but technically a cube is a square, okay? Well, the sides of a cube is a square. So if you know something about a square and hopefully you know how to find the area of a square, well, then that's gonna be a big help in terms of figuring this problem out. Now, if you're facing this uh, question on an exam and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally lost, well, then always just take a guess. Never ever leave a question blank on a math test unless you're going to get penalized, which is a pretty rare occurrence. But uh, anyways, uh, one of the things that I did here was explain what a cube is. Now, another thing that, um, a little tip for those of you that are math students, if you don't understand something on a particular question, raise your hand, say, hey, a teacher, what is a cube? Now, I'm kind of assuming that you know what a cube is. I'm just using this as a simple example. If you don't understand the question, raise your hand, try to get clarification. Sometimes your teacher will tell you, um, will give you some kind of hints or they'll clarify the problem. Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't, but you just let them say no, okay? So these are little tips for those of you that still have to uh, uh, pass a math class. But anyways, we are dealing with a cube. So a cube, again, is built, okay, or constructed from these squares, right? So we got a square here, we got a square over here, we got a square over here. And by the way, uh, this is a solid cube, just to be clear, okay? In other words, we don't have like an open uh, part right here. Just think of this thing as a box, okay? So that's another maybe a description of what's going on. But uh, anyways, what do we need to do here? Well, we have to calculate the area uh, required, surface area required, uh, to build this cube from this sheet of plywood. Now, what is a sheet of plywood? Well, basically, if you go to any kind of um, uh, home supply place like Lowe's or Home Depot, and uh, if you're watching this from overseas or uh, non-US, well, I'm pretty sure they probably have Home Depot or Lowe's, but some sort of hardware uh, store, they typically will sell uh, plywood as a sheet, which is a four by eight 
uh, uh, in dimensions, all right? So I kind of uh, step on my words here, but basically it's four feet this way and eight feet this way, okay? So that is a sheet of plywood. So I'm really trying to uh, clarify the prompt just in case some of you are confused with the terminology. All right, so we want to build this uh, uh, two-foot uh, cube. Now, a two-foot cube means it's two feet on all sides, okay? So in other words, it's two feet here, two feet here, two feet here, two feet there, because we are dealing with a square. All right, so that is going to be the strategy. We're going to have to calculate how much plywood we're, go we're going to uh, need to build this two-foot uh, cube uh, from uh, this eight, uh, four by eight sheet of plywood. And then of course, we'll take the difference and then we'll, we'll see how much wood is left. All right, so that's basically our game plan. So let's go ahead and start by working on this cube. All right, so here's our problem again. So after making a two-foot cube from a four by eight sheet of plywood, how much wood is left? Well, let's go ahead and calculate the surface area to build this cube. Now, uh, this concept of surface area is basically, uh, I like to kind of think of it as wrapping paper. So if you had this box and you wanted to say, well, how much wrapping paper do I need? Maybe you're gonna give a cube uh, for someone's you know, uh, birthday or Christmas present or <laughs> something like that. Hopefully you're gonna give them a little bit more exciting present. Maybe it's a Rubik's cube for those of you that are uh, my age. Hope, I'm pretty sure they still have Rubik's cubes. But anyways, the idea here is that we need to cover each side of this cube. So here's our cube. So it's a two foot by two foot cube. So we're gonna have to get enough uh, coverage for this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, and this side. So what you wanna do is just kind of look at this figure and kind of you know look at it in terms of how many sides do we have well this is clearly one side maybe we'll call this the front and then here back here is like the back right so we have a front and a back well you know of course we can describe this in a different way then we have this side right here right and then we have another side over there but we can't forget about the top and bottom so how many sides total uh, or, you know, do we need or, or do we have for this two-foot cube? Well, if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it appears like we have six pieces that we need to uh, maybe cut out of this plywood and glue all this stuff together and, you know, nail it together with, uh, um, you know, a hammer and some nails, right? <laughs> if we're kind of going back to our shop days to build this two-foot by two-foot uh, two cube. Now, I said, almost said two-foot by two-foot cube, but that's kind of being redundant. All right, so uh, this is the situation. So let's go ahead and calculate the surface area. So uh, this cube has six sides and each side is a uh, square, right? So the surface area of this cube is going to be basically six uh, little squares that are two by two, okay? So one square is a two foot by two foot square. So how do we calculate the area of a square? Well, the area of a square is basically side squared. So here, uh, one side is two feet by two feet, which of course is four uh, square feet. Now, when I talk about square feet, you can write it uh, this way, feet squared or uh, SQFT. Uh, There's probably other uh, ways you can describe square feet. But remember, we are talking about area. And this is an important uh, kind of detail to stress because anytime you're dealing with um, distance, area, or volume in a problem, you really need to be aware of the units of measure. So distance would be just what? Well, feet, right? From here, to, let's say from this point to this point, it's one dimensional, okay? Now, if we're talking about area, something like this, right? Well, and if this is in feet and this is in feet, well, area is described as units of measure squared. So like feet squared. And then if we're talking about volume, in other words, if I was gonna fill this little uh, cube up with water, then I'm talking about feet cubed, okay? So that's volume. So don't forget about units of measure on problems like this, but uh, let's go to calculate this out. Basically, we need six little uh, two feet by two feet uh, squares to build this cube. All right, so we can basically calculate the total surface area by just saying, okay, well, I need uh, uh, two foot by two foot uh, this little part right here, remember this is like the top and this is like the bottom and this is a side and this is the side. So we have top, bottom, uh, then we need what? We need front and back. So this is our little six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times four is what? Well, that's 24 square feet. 
So it's pretty, uh, you know, simple to calculate the surface area, especially for, you know, objects like, you know, a rectangular uh, box or a cube. So uh, the big thing here is to make sure that you're dealing with a closed uh, box or a closed uh, uh, cube. Sometimes you'll have problems. You got to be uh, very careful that we'll say, hey, this is an open cube or an open box. So you'll have to kind of uh, discount maybe an opening. In other words, you won't uh, count the top because it's open. All right. Now, this particular problem is not this situation, but effectively what we've done here is calculated the amount of plywood that we need in order to build this two foot cube. And that is 24 square feet. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, this is going to be pretty straightforward. So let's go to take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely wouldn't pause this lovely math video if I didn't need your help. I do need your help. Now, I've been on YouTube for a long time, like well over 10 plus years. I have well over 3,000 videos and I'm pretty close to 600,000 subscribers. So I'm definitely uh, super excited about that. And I think I'm pretty close to like 100 million views. So it really kind of blows my mind. Uh, you know, my thing is, you know, my videos have evolved, you know, for all these years. You know, I'm trying to get you know, better at, at uh, you know, making these videos for YouTube. I'm basically, my channel is all about trying to make math interesting, clear and understandable, and really to offer encouragement to those of you out there that may be having a tough time you know, with math. My biggest message, message, excuse me, is never give up on yourself when it comes to mathematics. And math can be tough for anyone. Matter of fact, the other day, I actually posted a video and I had a little math error and I kind of, you know, try to do our due diligence. So, you know, we're going to make mistakes. So, and we're all going to have uh, times where, you know, we get frustrated with something. So, you know, if you're frustrated with math, listen, that's just kind of part of the process. There's nothing wrong with you. But what you do need to do is not give up, but uh, try to find a math teacher that you like and understand that really teaches the subject in a comprehensive manner. So with that being said, if you need help in mathematics far beyond you know, my little tutorial videos here on YouTube, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here, uh, I would suggest a couple of courses pre-algebra. I teach a lot of basic geometry in that course, kind of things like we're talking about here. Also, my math skills rebuilder, uh, rebuilder course. And if you are taking a full-on geometry class, you'll see the link to that uh, in the description as well. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. It's pretty straightforward. So here is our four by eight sheet of plywood. Okay, and this is how it's referred to. So you go, it's four foot by eight feet long. So what is the surface area? What's the area of this uh, sheet of plywood? Well, we're dealing with a rectangle, okay? So just in case, you know, we're not dealing with a trap, so they don't, they don't sell things like this. Although they're not perfect rectangles, they pretty much are. You've got four feet here, four feet here, eight feet there, and eight feet there. So a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is what? Length times width, right? So that's the area of a rectangle. So here, to get the total area of this particular sheet of plywood, four by eight, Sheet of plywood is simply going to be 4 times 8, or 32 feet squared. Okay, so when we buy our 4 by 8 sheet of plywood, we got 32 feet squared. Now, we do need to build our 2-foot cube uh, from this uh, 4 by 8 sheet of plywood, and that's going to be pretty straightforward because we do have enough material. So we calculate it out for our 2-foot uh, cube, how much material we need. We need 24 square feet, uh, and we have 32 square feet available from our four by eight sheet of plywood. So when we use up the 24 square feet from the 32 square feet, uh, well, how much wood uh, remains? Well, that is the question. It's simply the difference. So 32 minus 24 is eight square feet. So that is the answer, but uh, you kind of look at the uh, problem in this manner. So let's suppose we have this four by eight sheet of plywood and we're saying, all right, I want to build a two foot uh, cube. So I'm going to need two feet by two feet, and you can just start constructing little two feet uh, boxes, okay, or two foot boxes on your little um, four by eight sheet of plywood. So here, this is eight feet, and this is four feet. So we can see here we have we can um, basically take this four foot uh, part of the plywood and split it two and two, and so now we draw this like line down the middle of the plywood. So we got two feet there, two feet there. Now this side's eight feet. 
So we can split that up in four ways, right? Two, four, six, eight. And we can just see these boxes that we need. We, we know we're going to need six boxes or six squares, excuse me, to build our cube. So here's one, here's two, and these this is a two by two, right? Because this is two feet here, two feet there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And what remains? Well, we have two boxes remaining, two, two feet uh, by two feet boxes. So what's the area of this? Well, that's four and this is four. So that's a eight square feet. All right. So a number of different ways you can, uh, you know, approach this problem. I like to kind of take things nice and slow and talk about these concepts of area, surface area, because these are all the little details that a lot of, um, you know, a lot of students kind of rush a problem and then they're like, you know, they don't really understand kind of what's going on. And the best way to solve any problem uh, or to learn math really is to take one problem nice and slow, get it right, and then just kind of continue to practice. So hopefully these little videos are entertaining and hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.